So what we have here, um, Ryan's got, um, we've just presented Ryan with uh, a bucket, not the two buckets, the ox buckets. He's not gonna have the two, but he's got, what have you got there, Ryan? You've got like? Well, lump hammer. Bolster. Trowel, bolster. Little point and trowel. Uh, brick trowel, 10 inch, yeah. 10 inch brick trowel. Yeah. Pro, so, that, so come on, you're good at this. This is the, read, read it and tell us what you got there with your 10 inch, read what it says. It's, a hot, it's an ox. So it's the ox pro series. Uh, 10 inch uh, brick trowel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you get to my age, you want a little point and trowel, like you know, you had enough of it. Yeah, and you got. For you. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and you got the mallet, haven't you? Yeah, I'm yeah. not sure what weight that mallet is. I wonder what the two ends are for. If that has any significance. I know this side doesn't mark, apparently. Yeah. Because I bought one that's slightly smaller than this, and it, that's what it said on it. It's yeah, a yeah. non mark. Thing. I don't know about that side. Do you think that's the way of sort of keeping everybody happy? It's black and it's white. Yeah. Maybe, I don't know. Yeah, and then we've yeah. got a political mallet. And you got the, what was yeah. it, the old Aris trowel there, isn't it? For, yeah. There we got yeah. the Aris trowel. Yeah. Yeah, um, but yeah it, it, it's pretty good. It all feels like pretty solid. Uh, Pointing point iron. Yeah. Like I said before, I've never used much of Vox stuff before, but they, they do seem to be pretty... Uh, Their levels are nice and thick, you've seen there. I, yeah. I prefer that level. That level you have, I think, is better than my, my Stanley one. Do you think so? Yeah, I got a Fat Max one, but, yeah, but yours feels more solid. You've also got a new Stabila, haven't you? Thanks to you, yeah. No, 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 no problem at all. Like. <laughs> and, uh, and and you got some gloves as well, some gloves. Water, oh, yeah. that's a good. I used to use these style in uh, scaffolding, the waterproof ones. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. So let's just see what people have to say about this. This is a vlog snippet. You'll be able to follow the old YouTube uh, channel, greentoplandscapes.co.uk. You'll be able to follow it on there. Um, uh, Green Top uh, Landscape channel on, on YouTube but also this will be a snippet with the vlog wouldn't it so yeah, um, let's get back on with it absolutely here we are this is the shape that we've put on this Brazilian black slate nice shape Are you going to ask me what I'm doing? What are you doing? Oh, okay. Well, actually, um, we're taking out a new mortgage. No, we're not. We're uh, we're getting the we've done the wall here. Okay, uh, nearly. This is the the finished coat on here, but we've got to sponge it up. So I've got it as smooth as I can get it. In the meantime, the important thing is just try and leave it. Don't keep touching it. The wall, I mean. So here we are. We're we're getting the. This is for the coping stone. If you have a look at the coping stone over here, yeah. Come have a look, right? So, that's what we've done the ball nose. There it is on the floor. There's the cotton stone there. So the idea is they're gonna get the muck on here now, get that one first one set in place, 600 by 600, nicely ball nose. Um, Brazilian black slate, as I've said before. So we're gonna get it bedded on here, okay? And really, the, the joint on here should replicate what we've got here on average going on right now. So, actually, you can see I'm a bit of a shot. I'll, I'll get you a step. Yeah, I know. It's definitely some stilts, like, you know? <laughs> Um, there we are. So we're gonna we're gonna get that on in now. Um, let's see. Let's see if I can pick it up. I'm, I'm alright. I'm okay. Okay, don't worry about me. I'll be fine. Don't worry. I'll be fine. 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 So here we go. Oh, 
<laughs> crap <laughs> right um just lift it what we got on that side there look you can see there look we're gonna have to put a bit of we're, we're going along with the ball nose i haven't quite got it right there got it here i haven't quite got it right there so we're gonna have to go over that bit there now i think you can come over a bit on on that outside yeah definitely right just run to the other side we can go over it again in situ like so just lift that one up a bit mate I'm gonna lift up in the middle there we are then it's about right isn't it so we've come come square here let's go to the back of that that's enough filming now <laughs> So John, obviously you, you've rendered this wall, but then if you're like me and never done it before, what's the um, what's the purpose of sponging it off and then floating it after? Look, you want you want to try and get it as, as flat as possible, like you know, as, uh, right from the outset. You know, when you put it on, and the secret is to get it on on quick, but make sure you trowel it in and, um, and you get it into the wall, get into that uh, scratch coat underneath, and make sure you seal that that scratch coat. Um, but what you don't want, you don't want it to dry it too fast. That's the idea of putting an SBR on the back and uh, putting a little bit of SBR in the mix because it'll have some synergy and it'll, it'll pull it together. Uh, but when you, so obviously if you, if you can get it as flat as possible, but it's a bit of a strange one because you've got to try and get it as flat as possible. The only, reason, the only way you're going to do that is by using the trowel. So I think you've got to be, use the trowel really effectively and efficiently rather than just keep going over and over and thinking you're doing it like, you know, is trying to get cover a big area and going up going down and, and just leaving it then moving on to the next bit and then just trying to catch it at the right time like you know look i'm not the best of renderers or plasterers like that um it's not bad it matches in with the wall and uh, hopefully um it will dry nicely and i think the secret is we haven't done it in very hot weather last week and the week before it was very hot wasn't it yeah it was so terrible. we decided yeah. to leave it didn't we yeah simply for that reason so there we go well are you going to ask me anything ask you what what are you doing well so we're just finishing this now we're just saying it's, it's come up good isn't it yeah the back wasn't so good because it was on a really hot day and we've done it in the right conditions but as you can see, there's no lines. It's not up, up and down. It's not humpy and bumpy. And um, I'm not. A, I'm not a renderer, and I'm not. And I, I readily admit that. Uh, what we hope now is looking nice and smooth. We just hope that it doesn't blow in places because sometimes that does happen. You know, for whatever reason, it does happen. So I think the secret is right. It's not to do too much at one go. Like, you know, don't try and work on. You could work on two if you're good, but I ain't that good. But, that's not bad at all, is it? Like, you know? Nah, it's good. Yeah. And now we can, uh, we'll wash this down and uh, clean up all the snots, the snods on the on the side. And a uh, big thank you to Lee, the tape slayer in Chepstow.